views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Millionaire Imprint for Women. This new radio show is about imprinting wealth for women, inspiring women of all ages to heal their karmic debts, to transcend the shame of poverty consciousness that women have lived with for centuries. It's time for women, for you, to have a new relationship with money, to radiate wealth from the inside out. We are creating a ripple effect, empowering millions of women to claim their inner wealth. Join Cornelia on The Cornelia Stephanie Show at Transformation Talk Radio. Are you in? Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, the millionaire imprint for women. I'm with my beautiful co-host, Ahana, and she's going to be talking about some amazing tips that are going to support you to expand your business in a huge way. Ahana and Daniel, they're both here from their template called Rise and Be Rich. And we're going to be supporting you, the audience, to take your business, take your life, your purpose uh, on on an expansion far beyond what, what you thought you might be able to do. So today's title is called Low Risk, High Reward. I love that. Mm-hmm. Secrets to Building Wealth in Your Business with Rise and Be Rich. Right, Ahana? Absolutely. That's where it is. Low risk and high reward. A low risk, high reward. Most people get into business with a preconceived notion of how to build it and how that business will give them the financial goals that they want to meet. There are various methods to building a business. However, if you have a fixed perception about how to grow your business and and you get into it and you find that your experience is quite different, it can be overwhelming and stressful. And I'm sure that many entrepreneurs can relate to that. It It becomes very difficult to expand that business and what you thought would be an exciting adventure becomes a nightmare or at least it becomes hard and frustrating. What if we could break those perceptions today? What if we told you that building a business is actually not hard? In fact, wealth building is not hard and it's not expensive either. There Mm -hmm. are several ways that you could take low risks and get high rewards in your business. And these are the secrets that can bring you massive wealth, freedom and happiness. So today we are going to explore some low risk, high reward ideas that can change your business very quickly. And Ahana, you're bringing this topic to the show today. Yes, I'm really excited to talk about this because this is this has actually been a very important topic for a lot of people at this time because so many entrepreneurs are entering the market. So it's a great topic to talk about. It is. And so the first question, let's dive right in. In every yep. business niche, um, you can find only a small percentage of entrepreneurs that do well while most struggle it you know is that the ones who do well that they're taking bigger risks would you say that that is the case so here's here's the really interesting thing that we found Uh, there is a perception amongst entrepreneurs that you have to be exceptional you have to master certain strategies, you have to be, uh, you know, have certifications, you have to put a lot of money into the business, a lot of effort, or take a lot of risk in order to get the big rewards. But what happens is in most niches, in most kind of businesses is that uh, people actually will just highlight the real success stories, whether it's in coaching, uh, any kind of service-based business, network marketing, author community, healing businesses, they talk about the exception. The reality is there is no exception. There are actually strategies and formula that anyone can follow 
to rise to the same level. Of course, you also have to have the right mindset. You step into your leadership and you have to put in the hard work. But the formula or the strategies that are foundational to any business succeeding are exactly the same. And you and I both know that we have to build a strong foundation in order to have a strong big building. So perceptions like, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't know if I need to take high risks or I don't have a lot of money or do I need a certification to do this? Or do I need to learn a lot, spend a lot of time? All of this, if you replace it, by mastering or implementing a strong foundation, you have just as much chance to succeed as anyone else. So building the foundation is low risk and has really high rewards. Most entrepreneurs are chasing after some little you know, trick or tool or marketing method, but without building that foundation, uh, you know, all those methods don't work. So build the foundation and that's the change we need to have um, in our minds and in, in our businesses. Yeah, I love that because, you know, that's, I feel like what you're talking about today, it removes a lot of the distraction because yeah. all those things that you were talking about, you know, the certification and all those other things that entrepreneurs think that they have to have mm. is like a, a sort of a distraction because then they're going after those things that's preventing them from actually putting forth that effort in, you know, creating those high rewards you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're right. There are distractions. It, there's, there's just too much noise out there. So you have to go back to doing the foundation and doing it right. And that's really, it's your short way to succeed in your business. Yeah. And that's one of the things that you and, and Daniel both do. You guys are yeah. um, helping entrepreneurs streamline their businesses and, um, you know, really remove some of the distractions, shift the mindsets, all these things. But that's why uh, having a coach, having somebody like you and Daniel supporting people in, uh, in, in, in clearing the clutter and getting really clear on what's needed is, 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 a, is a worthwhile investment. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have another question for you. If creating the foundation is simple, yeah. building businesses can be low risk. Why don't business or owners embrace it more? Where is it that they're getting it wrong? And, um, you know, how do we start shifting that perception? Right. So let me introduce this, this, this principle we use. We always uh, talk about it in, in, the, in the office. And uh, it's simply flow like a river. A river will find the quickest and the easiest way to flow to the ocean. But what most entrepreneurs do is just block that flow. So um, a lot of people will start their business thinking it's one directional. For example, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, say if you're a therapist, your attention is on promoting yourself to find uh, people to fill up those therapy sessions in order to make money. So you keep working harder in order to fill those therapy sessions. But why can't a therapist add on an additional stream of income by selling mindfulness audios on his or her website? It's a simpler way to increase income, but most people won't do it. So in another example, a life coach is focused on helping his or her clients um, you know, with their life challenges. Why can't a life coach recommend simple supplements or natural therapies that could help their clients live a better life? Where is the resistance to that? So most of the time we choose not to open our eyes to the possibilities of multiple income streams, multiple ways of growing our business that might be right in front of us that would help our business grow exponentially. So one of the discussions we've been having over the last 10 days is actually uh, in network marketing. It's just it's, you know, the perception around it is so, uh, you know, it's, it's distorted. So if you have a perception that network marketing is not the right kind of business, for example, uh, it's a pyramid scheme, you are ignoring the fact that there are 120 million network marketers in this world. And a large portion of them are making decent amount of money out of it. In fact, network marketing teaches a lot of the foundational principles. Online business strategies teach a lot of the foundational principles. So it's true that there are you know, some, you know, and there, there, there are some entrepreneurs who are right on top of the leaderboard in our entrepreneur community. We don't even know that they actually come from the network marketing, um, uh, you know, side, like, for example, Robert Kiyosaki. So the big question is, is your perception preventing you from building wealth in your business? Where most people go wrong is in that 
perception challenge. So if I were to, again, if, if you want to shift the perception, Cornelia, one of the easiest way to do it is to challenge the way you think. So for example, if I told you, here's a course, which is $5,000, and it teaches you how to grow your brand, your connection, learn social media marketing, all of this yummy stuff will get you leads, et cetera. And here's the network marketing opportunity. Which one would you choose? For most people, they would choose the $5,000 course. So if you choose the fund, you know, the first one, you find the money, you put the cash into it, and then you learn it theoretically. But what you don't realize is a network marketing opportunity would, could give you training on how to brand and grow your network on social media, hands-on, hands-on training to, you know, use social media for referrals and referral partners, find qualified leads on social, um, how to talk to people and convert leads. So list goes on. And all this while you're learning all of this hands-on and you're adding an additional stream of income to your business. So knowing that, which one would you choose? So that's really the perception challenge. And if you can shift that perception, you would for, you know, flow like, like a river. You would find the fastest and the quickest way to reach your success. Yeah, and I, I love that analogy. I love how you, how, you, how you said that because which one would you choose? And most people would choose the $5,000 one. And um, I just recently became a network marketer. I recently signed up for a network marketing uh, product company, became a distributor that I absolutely love. And so I added that stream of income to my foundation and yep. I'm enjoying what, and you're right, the training and um, all the, the, the principles and success strategies that work for mm -hmm. these people that have made, um, you know, made this their life, whether it's they're just doing it, you know, for one stream of income or some of them are full-time employed through network marketing. It's yep. the perception that has given network marketing a bad name. And it's yeah. too bad because, um, you know, people are not realizing the value of how much value they can get out of it. So yeah. I'm glad that you're bringing this out because, you know, it's, it's perfect to, uh, you know, talk about it so that people can understand, oh, let me open my mind and let me open up and see what's really there and, you know, and, and look at what I can really, um, receive out of this. There's so many things because yeah. of the training that you get, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, you know, what you're saying is, is like people need to open their minds to understanding that these are not, you know, it, it's not about how other people are doing it. It's how you can take the best out of it and use it for your business. So that's the most important part. And if somebody already has a proven formula, why wouldn't you take it? Exactly. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and skip this first break and we're just going to go right on into it because I'm just loving the momentum we've got going. So growing uber fast or moving slow is what we mm -hmm. want to talk about next, right? Because we know that's also happening out there for people that they're either growing very fast or yeah. they're moving really slow. And um, another low risk or high reward is the ability to grow quickly instead of having a business that's stagnant for years. Wasting time is a big risk. And again, being, um, being, uh, what, what is the word that I was looking for? Oh, um, what was the word earlier that I was saying is, uh, you know, being cluttered and you're not clear and distracted. you're distracted. You're distracted. Being yeah. distracted, right? So how can we change that? And this yeah. is what we're going to focus on now on how mm -hmm. we can gain speed in our business with low risk, high reward strategies. So tell mm -hmm. us, Ahana, why should you grow your business faster? What's, what's in it for us? Time is money. Uh, I have done this for way too long and I, you know, know how valuable uh, time is. All the many entrepreneurs don't really realize that they're trying to do things DIY. They're spending a lot of money in acquiring little training courses to understand the different processes without actually working on a clear strategy on what they need to do in order for their business to grow. And you know, within a certain period of time. So in the last episode, in the four stages of business, four steps to wealth, Cornelia, we talked about Robert Kiyosaki's four quadrants. And uh, we know that the employed and the self-employed, and again, a lot of solo entrepreneurs fall in that category, 
are on the left side of the quadrant. And a lot of them are struggling to build wealth and still working hours to dollars. So even if you're in business, you're still doing the hours to dollars if you're self-employed. The goal is to shift to that right side of the quadrant. And we had mentioned that high growth happens on the right side where business owners learn about leverage. So we were watching actually an interview, I think it's a few days back with business strategist Gordon Hester. And he was talking about the fact the key to wealth is leverage. So when you know how to multiply your efforts without multiplying your workload, so that's leverage. That's when your business grows. So think about you times leverage. That's when you start seeing your business really grow. And building an online business or running a network marketing opportunity, that's where you actually learn about the leverage, how to create systems to create that leverage. You can learn how to automate your business, create systems and templates, grow a team, and build that foundation to scale your business. So it's also the only way to grow faster. Everything else that I've seen people go at it's, it's snail pace through things. It's all about personal learning. But when you're really ready to grow the business, you have to you have to look it at leverage. So if you don't learn how to do you know leverage, you will always be doing things slowly, DIY one at a time, get distracted, and. In many ways, it's a lost opportunity because the market is moving so fast nowadays. You really need to capture the opportunity when they last. Yeah, is that is that why um, people so many businesses fail? Is because they don't scale? Would you say that that's yeah? The- yeah, there is there are some things before the scaling, but what's really happening is they are trying to do things one at a time. I'll figure it out, but that's really where you're missing the opportunity now because things are changing super fast. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a strategic plan and then you're implementing that plan with the concept or the idea, they're going to leverage this and scale this, you can't survive. You're going to drop off because you're not going to get that consistent cash flow in your uh, business. Yeah, because I I think I did a show, I think it was last year sometime where I talked about if you're making less than $100,000 a year as an entrepreneur, those businesses are most likely to fail simply because you're not, you're not growing your business, you're not scaling, you're not, you know, reinvesting and you're not able to um, stay up with the evolutionary times, right? So it's important to leverage and to scale. Now, last time when you and Daniel were on, you all were offering a, um, uh, a session, you, you, had, you had a free gift. Is that still available, by the way, or is that already all filled up now? No, you can, you, you know, we, can still, um, we can still honor that because one of the things with that is we do set out a little bit of time every month. This is just our part of, this is our service. So we do that um, and we will give that, we absolutely will give that uh, out um, for those who really need that help to structure their businesses to have that scaling strategy. Yeah, because I'm I'm going to be one of your your clients. I'm going Absolutely. to definitely definitely sign up for that. So yes. for the audience that hasn't seen our last show that I that we did with Hana and Daniel, go to the YouTube channel there and look under the Millionaire Imprint for Women, and you're going to see Rise and Be Rich right there, front and center. And go and listen to that show. If you're an entrepreneur, you definitely want to take advantage of their um, massive program that they are helping entrepreneurs with so that you can get out of that, um, you know, out of that stagnant, um, you know, way of moving where you're, it's, it's not really helping you and, and really, you know, move forward into a way that you can expand your business and scale and yeah. make some money. Right. Because really, that's what we're here to do. And I love how you're bringing up the different streams of income and adding the network marketing as a stream of income. And for those entrepreneurs, I mean, the network marketing is a write off for your business, which is also another support that can help you as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, what what is one of your gifts that you have today for our audience? So one of the things we wanted to do, so we have um, a special funnel that we had 
created for, and it's just a referral funnel actually, but it's uh, called social retail movement. So we had created this funnel, but we don't really share this in, in public, but I would like to share it here with you because we are part of this amazing group of social marketers and we learn from some of the top leaders in the industry. So when you sign up on that link, uh, and the link is actually ahanalara.com forward slash social dash retail dash movement. Okay. What it will do is actually take you on the thank you page. There's a short video on the strategies of growing leads in your business, the low risk, high reward way. And it'll give you an opportunity to actually connect with us directly and ask questions, which is why we don't give out that funnel because you can get on our messenger and actually ask questions. But also you can book an appointment there where we want to um, identify your low risk, high reward opportunities in your business based on these principles. Uh, that we use in social retail movement. So that link, if you hop onto that link, it's at ahanalara.com forward slash social dash retail dash movement. Go to the thank you page, check out the video, and then there are a couple of ways for you to contact us and get that session. Wow, that's fantastic. And we're also going to, if you're going to be listening to this uh, podcast later and you're going to watch it on YouTube, we're going to also put that link right underneath there so that you can get it there. And um, also, is there another uh, website or place where people can connect with you if they, did, if they didn't catch the link? Well, the easiest way actually is to go to ahanalara.com just on my website or my Facebook page is ahanalara coaching. For, so it's facebook.com uh, forward slash ahanalara coaching. So they can connect with me on either of those two places. But on my website, there's usually tons of way to hop onto, um, you know, a call or get into some of our materials and get some free courses. This is lots of ways. Yeah, the reason why why we want to let let the audience know is because I know like even yesterday, you know, driving it on on the on the highway, a lot of people are driving out there. They're listening to these podcasts and they don't have their pen handy, yeah. and it and then it gets lost. So I just want to be able to um, say that again. Go ahead and announce your website again. So it's www.ahanalara.com, mm. and you're also on Facebook and LinkedIn, right? I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, you can connect me uh, with me on LinkedIn. I'm actually quite active on LinkedIn. So, um, you know, you want to talk to you about, you know, uh, just to actually connect with my network of entrepreneurs who are doing some pretty amazing work. LinkedIn is a really good space to connect with me. Yes, good. Well, um, let's take a break, Ahana. And when we come back, we're going to talk about low risk marketing that gives you high reward. We'll be right back. Are you an entrepreneur who's struggling to be seen? Do you know deep in your gut that if you could just be seen and get your message out, that you'd easily reach your tribe? How wonderful would it be if a fairy godmother came along, waved her magic wand, and suddenly you were more than visible, you were dazzling. Would you sign up for that? Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, spiritual teacher and international best-selling author of Akasha Unleashed, The Missing Manual to You. I'm here with the wonderful news that such a person actually exists. Her name is Cornelia Stephanie, and she's gifted at helping entrepreneurs become dazzling. I've watched her work her magic over and over to turn invisible entrepreneurs into dazzling stars who easily attract their ideal clients and have fun doing it. Not long ago, I was the recipient of her gift. As a guest on her show, Living Heaven on Earth, not only did we have fun, but Cornelia helped me get my message out to a wider audience, which resulted in a very nice spike of traffic to my website and more subscribers to my list. Did I mention it was incredibly easy? Cornelia's running a veritable media empire of uplifting programs. They cover a broad range of topics and have a large appreciative audience. That's a winning combination, folks. Guess what? Those shows need guests and hosts. Imagine after guesting on a few shows, moving up to hosting your own popular show. That is absolutely possible for you. So now you have a decision to make. Are you going to keep struggling on your own? Or are you going to sign up for some Cornelia Stephanie dazzling visibility magic? 
email radio at corneliastephanie.com today. We are back. You're listening to Cornelia Stephanie show and I'm with Ahana and we're talking about how you can market low risk that gives you high reward. Every business needs to spend time and money in marketing. We know that. Are there, there are ways to market that has low risks, lower costs and higher rewards? Let's find out when it comes to marketing, what is the biggest investment that you can make? Yeah, big. This is this is like you know a million dollar question. It is. Um, <laughs> low risk, high reward in marketing is actually to learn to build relationships and connections with potential customers and potential partners. So everything that we do, and you know, we have the coaching business. We also have a marketing agency. Everything is geared towards building relationships and connections. So many, you know, businesses spend a lot of money on ads. They are spending money on building and keep on rebuilding their website, getting a VA to amplify their social media, but all of, and, and they think that that's going to bring the change, but without a strategy to build and grow relationships and create a community that trusts you, uh, that follows you, that likes you. It's really difficult for any kind of marketing tactic to work. So the important question we all have to ask is, what creates strong relationship with your potential customers? So one of the things that we do when we're strategizing in Rise and Be Rich is we put three parts together um, in, in terms of growing those connections. So the first one is strategic content marketing and building what we call omnipresence, which is being seen everywhere. So visibility a part is a part of that, but um, actually being seen on different channels with a consistent message. So that's first part. The second part is attraction marketing. So when you're doing all of the stuff in content marketing, you trying to pull your leads. So when you pull the leads, how does that convert? So that's the other aspect of it, which is attraction marketing. And along with strategic content marketing and attraction marketing, we also do prospecting, which is a form of social selling. So networking consistently on social media so as to build and grow our network. So if done right, this creates massive buzz. It builds your brand and actually builds your community. And you don't need to spend a lot of dollars for it. You just have to have a strong sound plan. It's a really low risk, high reward plan if done right. So mastering connection is your biggest asset. And I would say biggest investment in marketing should be learning to do just that. Yeah, I love that. It's so true because people are just aimlessly wandering around trying to build their social media, trying to build their following, trying to do that and are not getting the results they want because they're yeah. missing this one key thing that you just talked about is the connections, building relationships. Yeah. And I mean, that is so important with your clients, with your you know prospects. Like you said, it's really, really important. And that's a massive strategy that you help people with, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is what we do even at the coaching level. Um, we do it with, you know, all our different teams across the network marketing, but we also do this at a marketing agency level. So we work with businesses who have small, small and medium sized businesses doing this and actually creating it's a, it's a done for you service. So we do everything, all the aspects of it uh, for those businesses. So we know exactly how it works, how to engage and how to bring in those connections and build those relationships. What are some of the low risk, high rewards marketing tips that you can offer us today? Um, let me try to, you know, sort of, let's first talk about how, you know, one of the big ones is how do you master connections, right? So I just want to start thinking in terms of, um, when we say connection, we also mean engagement. So, you know, you hear this term over and over again, you know, build your engagement. So if you think of Gary Vaynerchuk, for example, how is he building this massive connection uh, on the internet? He's not relying on ads. So what's, what's he doing? So the biggest piece of the puzzle is actually content. Content marketing done right can build massive connections for your business, but it has to be done in a specific way. Like for example, you have to attract your ideal customers, not just dreamers, but the doers. You have to, those are called qualified leads. Then you have to focus on engagement, not always on enrollment, 
and sales. So you have to have a strategy to increase that engagement. Then there's consistency, showing up daily, building that presence and the trust in that relationship. Then there is the high value content of how much value is your customer receiving from you on a daily basis. So you again, go back to what Gary Vaynerchuk is doing. That's what he's doing. He's building and building and building on that. It's like kind of like a, you know, vortex. And that's what's pulling in all of these people. So all of this together helps you build connection. It's really a low risk, high reward strategy. Um, and that, you know, you have, if you're looking for one strategy to start with, it has to be the content marketing strategy. Good. And so, and that's the number one thing that builds that's the master the number one connection. Thing. That, that's, that's the number one. one. Content marketing strategy builds master connections. Yeah. Yeah. It has, it has given us incredible amounts of like, like highly qualified leads. You know, one of the examples I can give you, we posted a blog and we received an appointment through the blog, which converted into a $12,000 deal on a 30 minute call from a blog. So it's, you know, you have to consistently build that content and that trust with people because when those leads come to you, boom, they, you know, convert. Pretty much. They convert and then pretty much now you're building relationships with, with yeah. them. It, and it's all about the relationship. It's all about that. It is all about that. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So tell us about the marketing tips for low uh, risk and high reward. Well, some of the, like one of, like I said, we talked to about three different things, right? So one was the content marketing strategy, which actually builds your trust in the market. Um, the second one that people are not doing uh, effectively is, yes, they're doing some social media marketing, but they're not doing attraction marketing. And what I mean by that is, I'll just give you a little example of um, uh, one thing that, you know, really changes the social media marketing. <laughs> so we create, we have a daily checklist for all our clients. So our um, clients actually use that daily checklist to start building the engagement before they put what we call a high curiosity post or a high value post. And that could be just a little post and it go, it could go you know, viral, you get you know, like 50 people looking at it all at the same time or people start sharing it. But they do the daily checklist to build that connection. And then they have the strategy of posting in a, in a certain order and posting these high curiosity, high value pieces of content, different, you know, lifestyle pieces of content. So once you start looking at, so that's the, you know, that's how you connect. So you connect your, your content to your attraction marketing strategy. They jump off onto your uh, website, your website's uh, traffic increases. There is SEO on your website and you start drawing them to your website as well. And once they are there, they convert because you've got several funnels out there something's going to catch their interest, boom, they convert. And so this is how, you know, how much money did you spend on it? Not much. So these are organic ways of growing and you can amplify that with paid, but just with those two, it's incredible. And then the third thing that I mentioned there was um, actually social selling, which is a layer we add to it is to grow the network. The bigger the network, the higher connections you're going to get, you know, because you are able to spread your message wider. So we do that um, along with um, the attraction marketing and the content marketing. So in many ways, the the tips as such is don't just go there and do it randomly. You've got to have a plan for this, first of all. Um, You have to flow the easiest way to flow. So you you can't have perception challenges. Oh, you know, this is something that they're doing in online business. Oh, you know, that's a little salesy or uh, stop, stop looking at things from the point of view of sales and promotions and start looking at it from point of view of service. If you can truly provide high value, trigger somebody emotionally to think or change their thinking, you've got them. And that's what builds that connection. So those are low risk. You know, you're know, not you're not spending money. You're not doing a lot of hard work. You're just, you know, putting that in a plan. But having that plan and implementing it properly is, uh, is important. It's really important. Now, is that what you and Daniel help people do? 
Yeah, it's part of what we do. So in Rise and Be Rich, the whole idea behind it, and, and we use Rise and Be Rich principles all across the board, like right up to a marketing agency where we're talking about people who are making several, you know, seven figure, it's a se- se- several multiple seven figure businesses. And it, the strategy is the same. You first build a brand, then you build your visibility, then you build your authority and influence, and then you um, you know use that to start growing your community. Once you are there, you use leverage, just amplify it. And that's the process we use in Rise and Be Rich. And uh, so this part that we're talking about comes kind of in the middle of it. So you have to do some work before and some work after, but it comes right in the middle of it and anchors everything. Yeah, I totally see, you know, the immense value this is for entrepreneurs just to put all of these pieces together. I mean, to put it all together, to have the support, to, you know, have the checklist, all the different things that you said. And again, get rid of all of that clutter, all of those um, distractions so that you can really get busy at being in service and leveraging, bringing in your income and, you know, scaling on, on a larger mm-hmm. scale. So mm-hmm. what was your, um, tell us again about the free gift, where to get it, tell us again about it and give us the link again. Sure. So the free gift is, um, you know, this is an access to our social retail movement funnel, which again, I, as I mentioned, don't give it out in public, but it has a short video on the thank you page. So when you sign up, see that short video, because that's really the strategy that makes our business tick. And that's a strategy that you can get hold of. And then within that uh, page, there is a link for an appointment where we can explore low risk, high reward opportunities with you. The link is ahanalara.com forward slash social retail, uh, sorry, social dash retail dash movement. So I'll repeat that www.ahanalara.com forward slash social dash retail dash movement. Wonderful. So let's take our last break and we'll be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie show. We'll be right. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her Uh, one-on-one for many years now and even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth after working with her for many years I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach uh, coaching program and it has absolutely been an amazing process I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach 
go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Welcome back. We are putting it all together. That's what we're going to do. We're talking about putting it all together. So Ahana, tell us what is the secret to attracting more clients to our business? What is that secret? So, you know, we've talked about a lot of different strategies today. Um, and, you know, if, if you're listening to this, you know, download this and write those strategies down because somehow, you know, a lot of people have them somewhere in the mind. They've heard about it. But when you start putting them down, you actually can start creating your plan. But at the end of the day, the biggest question is, want? What do they want? So for us, say, for example, our target market is the entrepreneur market. And the four drivers for us, um, for the entrepreneur market are freedom, which could be financial freedom, lifestyle, so choice of the lifestyle you want, security, which is long-term comfort, and impact, the change they want to make in other people's lives. So these are the drivers and you have to identify the drivers of your target market. So when you look at these drivers and in, in all of these strategies that you're doing, if you are able to hit three out of those four drivers, you've got them. You've actually got them. So the way to attract a lot more people and clients and opportunities is to know their drivers and then focus on giving them at least satisfying three, two, three of their drivers, if not more, right? If you can get all of them, that's awesome. So you take your target market's biggest need and then start running all these low risk, high reward strategies, you know, content marketing or looking at ideas. So the ideation process actually is what comes before the, con uh, the, uh, the, uh, the actual marketing process. So the ideation process, does your idea have market? Build the foundation, which could be, you know, all the funnels that you have to make, then use the right attraction marketing, prospecting strategies, use leverage. If you can do that with that in, in the center that this is the driver, then you can't go, uh, you just can't go wrong. It sounds like a lot, but it actually is really simple. And it all starts with your shifting that perception and learning the easiest way to flow, the simplest way possible. And this is the simplest way I know. Figure out the drivers, make sure that in your marketing message, in your business, the way you deliver, uh, content or your offers and your products and services that you're hitting those drivers of your um, target market. Love that. What are the strategies uh, out of all the strategies that you've talked about? What's your favorite low risk out of all the, the ones, the low risk and the high reward strategy that you uh, use in your own business? Well, I have to say that, you know, marketing is, it's an emotional process. So for us, Daniel connects, a lot, you know, he connects a lot with people through motivation. He does a lot of, you know, content around motivation, speaking. So that's his thing. I love writing. Our biggest returns have actually come through content marketing and our ability to find the right content for the right target market using our strengths. So Daniel uses his strengths, which is motivating people. I use my strength, which is writing. And that's how we've grown. That's those those processes we have documented actually and we teach that in rise and be rich but that has given us the biggest return and um here's something that i'll say one of the secrets to building wealth is actually to know yourself and your capabilities your strengths and use that right at the center to plan out your entire process so once you know your strength and you've got it at the center of your plan all the way from foundation to scaling you can't go, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with that because you will always be working to a strength. There's a quote by Rumi, and I think it goes uh, something like, "Don't be satisfied with stories about how things have gone uh, for others. Unfold your own myth." And we can help you with the strategies, but you have to bring yourself to the table and step into your power, step into your leadership, learn through your experience, and make it happen for you. So. Yeah, that's such great advice. And there's a lot of truth in that is to really be able to, um, you know, step in. I think a lot of times people too, 
they they keep themselves in um, in in a stuck place because of some of the limiting beliefs and some of their um, perceptions that they're still holding. And that's why it's like, hey, let me find a new way to do this. Let me step into a new way because I really want this to succeed. And there yeah. is no greater time than to do this than it is now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, at the rate at which people are growing. I think we talked about the fact that there are 42 million millionaires in the world right now. And we just, you know, keep on adding millionaires. And that's the whole thing. It's, it's, it's not about, you have to understand, it's not about the business. It's about you. It's about learning to be the leader that you are meant to be. So at the end of the day, it's how, if you shift your perception, and that's why I really wanted to bring this because it's such a touchy topic for so many people. When the moment you mention network marketing, they just run. But the whole point is you have to see what's really happening in the world. There is just so much growth. You either have to be part of that growth or you can sit there on the sidelines and wonder what, you know, what's really happening. You know, I'm, I, I'm not getting any traction. But if you just shifted your perception and allowed the flow boom, you've got all of these opportunities, use them for your benefit and grow exponentially, you know, move towards your success. Yeah. I mean, and when you're looking at it, you know, for, I mean, we are moving into, we, I think we're already in it now, but I mean, even more like looking at 2020, looking at 2025, 2030, uh, mm. the entrepreneur generation. I mean, this, this is it. So, so many people are wanting to be free and to be able to live their lives according to their core values and all those drivers that you were talking about, right? Yeah. To really, to live their life according to that. Well, that does involve shifting your perception, shifting yeah. the way that you've done things so that you can find a newer, easier way to do it and uh, rise and be rich principles and their model, Ahana and Daniel, they can absolutely support you to do that. And now would be the time to make that, take that leap. So give us that information again on how they can access their free gift. And yeah. Right. So I, I uh, while you were talking, there's just one sentence that kept on, that's actually just intuitively is coming through to me that I, I should mention is that try saying like those who are listening in, Try saying it over and over again, I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I'm really wealthy. And see what is the resistance. And if there is any resistance, because, you know, there, there should be none because you are. I mean, we are so much more wealthy than, you know, we have so many comforts. We just don't realize it. But just saying that um, anchors that energy. That's the first thing. You have to shift the perception. Once you've done that, then you know then you can start taking the steps in terms of strategy and the link that i'm sharing with you again it's uh it's it's a link that um you know we have we debated a lot daniel and i whether we should share this or not but i think this will really help you so it's uh, www.ahanalara.com forward slash social dash retail dash movement so this is actually going to take you on a thank you page to that little video of the strategy that we are using that also gets you to see behind the scenes to this the team uh, it, it's an online marketing, social social marketer, network marketing team that we are working with. I have to tell you, uh, Cornelia, it's, uh, our team is 12,000 plus strong. And so I want people to come into this funnel without any preconceived notion uh, because there's a little presentation that two of our team members made. And if you look at that presentation, oh, there's, you know, two moms sitting and doing it, but um, don't, you know, Simple it may be, but this team is making multiple seven figures every month. So that's how powerful this team is. So learning from people who are making multiple seven figures monthly. Yeah. And we know what it's like when you when you associate and put yourself around the five people that five are people, exactly. Right? So anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, this was a fantastic uh, show. Thank you so much, Ahana, Daniel, for coming and bringing uh, this wonderful information. And uh, thanks, everybody, for listening and tuning in. We'll see you again next time. Hi, my name is Janet Hickox, and I want to tell you a little story about a story and how my friend Cornelia Stephanie helped me through 
to the other end of that story. I have gone from the dark of a story I was telling myself that wasn't true to the light of optimism to see my way out of where I was and to where I want to go. And it all started with uh, her scheduling a session for me to help me reclaim my money or my financial empowerment. Up until that point, I had been telling the story that my business was dying, that my business was not successful anymore. And the more I tried to figure out what was going on, the worse I felt about it. And when I had to get ready to do the session with Cornelia, she asked me to go look at the numbers and where I was uh, through the year to date. And then also to come prepared with a number that I wanted to uh, raise my income to. Well, I was quite comfortable with that part, right? I knew where I wanted to be. Uh, what I wasn't comfortable with doing is going and looking up those numbers. But I made myself do it, even though I tried to backpedal my way out of the session. Um, she didn't know that, but I was going to try to get myself out of the session. And I looked up those numbers. And it was incredible that I discovered through that process that my business wasn't dying. In fact, I was doing 12% better than I had the year before. So I was shocked. I was shocked literally at the power of the story that I had been telling for months. But more than that, I was shocked that I had allowed myself to get there. And uh, later in that day when I had my session with Cornelia, she pointed out some very obvious things like, how are you going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go? How are you going to get there if you don't have the goals written out, if you don't have it uh, set up so that you know where you are and where you're going to go? Totally makes sense, right? If I, and I had been in business, uh, somebody else's business as a sales manager for years, and I, I was a national sales manager. I had awards for sales management. I had business awards because of numbers. And yet when it came to doing my own business, I totally forgot all that I'd ever learned. So by the time Cornelia working with me in just one session, got me to look deeper at the numbers and where did I want to go and actually, you know, claiming where I wanted to go. Um, I was filled with a sense of optimism and hope. Like you can't believe it was like, everything shifted for me. And I am so looking forward to our continued sessions to see how far I can really push myself to get where, I, where I've only dreamed of being, where I've never taken the dream and actually brought it into concrete existence. So thank you, Cornelia, for the work that you're doing out there. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to see where I go from here.